And welcome to another tutorial from tutorialhouse.co.nz. Today we are going to be programming the collision detection for the breakout game which we've been doing. Um, it's not the full collision detection for the blocks or anything like that, it's just the ball um, intersecting with the walls and the paddle and rebounding. Um, so it's still all pretty simple, I mean, but it's it's better than what we have been doing, a bit more fun, so um, we'll get stuck into it. Um, so if we just go into ball.cs, our ball class, um, and we're going to change a few variables here. So for our private int speed, we're going to change that to a uh, x speed, and we're going to make a y speed as well. Like that, and I think we're going to um, create a random variable which is going to be, uh, I'll just say ran speed, I guess it's easy. Ran speed, and in our constructor we can put the ball constructor, we, extract, uh, we can put ran speed uh, is equal to new random. Cool, easy. Now we're going to have to change this variable here, the speed variable, to um, our x speed. And we're doing this so that every time you start up the uh, breakout game, obviously the x and the y speed are going to be different. So the ball's going to be moving in a different direction, different angle. Um, so yeah, we'll make this um, x speed is equal to ran speed dot next. So this is just. Uh, C sharps random generator number generator and we'll select the min value can be 3 and the max value can be 5 uh, and we'll do the same for y speed is equal to ran y speed is equal to ran speed dot next open bracket 3 5 cool so that's going to set our speeds for us and so we'll move down to move ball our method down here, ball class, and we'll change this to x speed and y speed. Sweet. So if we run that, we'll get it going off at a different at a different rate. So every time, oops. Yeah, if we do it again, it should be different. All right. Cool. Um. Right, so yeah, we'll, we'll only do it in one direction. We won't do negatives because you can get zero speed in one direction, which we don't really want. So, um, okay. Once we've done that, we're going to make the collisions for the walls. So we'll go public void. Uh, we'll call it collide wall. It's simple. No arguments to take. And this is pretty much just some basic if statements. So if ball rec, not ball image, ball rec dot x is less than zero. So if it's less than the left hand side of our wall or uh, ball dot rec, uh, dot e, ball rec dot x is greater than 270. Now I'm doing 270, um, if we come back here, it says that the form's 300 but uh, it's, uh, it's there's a 20, 20 pixel difference in, um, in the side of the form for some reason, and also the ball's 10 pixels wide, so we'll add 30 onto it. Um, so we'll put that in there, like that. And what we're going to do is just change the x speed. So all we'll have to put is x speed, x speed is times and equal to minus one. So that's just changing the direction. So if it's going at four one way, and then it hits a wall, it'll go minus four the other. So we've gone the opposite direction, and then we'll just do the same for y, but we're only gonna need one for this. Ball rec dot y is less than zero. We'll do the same. Y speed is times and equal to minus one. Awesome. Now we'll put this into our view code. We'll put this into our timer. So ball dot collide wall. 
and we'll see if that works. Run the application, and hopefully this should bounce off the wall as it does. Awesome. Okay. Now, as you can see, it still goes through the pedal, so we'll change that now so that it stops when it hits the pedal. And that's pretty easy. Uh, public void. So we create a new method. Public void. Uh, hit pedal, we'll call the method. And we'll just give it um, a rectangle argument, which can be pedal rec. And really simple as well. It's a great thing about rectangles. You can just um, they have they have a intersect with method which you can use, which is really handy. Um, which does a collision detection for you. So if we go if uh, pedal rec dot intersects with and then we can just use our rectangle, which is our ball, ball rec. Then we can just say y speed is times and equal to minus one. Cool. And uh, we'll just put this into our timer method. Ball dot hit pedal. Use our pedal rec that pedal dot pedal rec that we defined earlier, and that's pretty much it. So hopefully now that it should, it should hit the size of the wall, bounce off, hit the pedal, bounce off. You would hope. So let's see if it does. Comes in, boom, bounce off. I mean that's that's pretty basic, and that's pretty much um, all we're going to do today is just to show you that how easy it is to do um, making the ball bounce off the walls. So uh, yeah, that's it for today. In the next tutorial we will um, bring in the blocks for the ball to hit uh, and then we'll get a little bit more advanced and when the ball hits the paddle it can go off in different directions and things like that. Uh, source codes at www.tutorialhouse.co.nz if you need it. Um, yeah, enjoy. Cheers.